Hi guys, it is a blissfully rainy Tuesday, March, I'm sorry, we're already up to April 2nd, 2013. I was going to make one rant, a three-part rant called, uh, I guess, Adventures with the Police State. So I'm going uh, I'm going to split this up into three rantlets about uh, just three crazy stories uh, about the police state, various aspects uh, going on in this country that I just thought were funny stories for anyone who wants to listen to them. And since I like to talk about myself, I thought my rantlet number one, chapter one of Adventures in the Police State is my own continuing drama with my friends at the Internal Revenue Service. Just a quick update, uh, six months ago, I received a love letter from the Internal Revenue Service uh, regarding my 2008 taxes back when I was some sort of millionaire real estate agent running around uh, acting like a little Donald Trump. Anyway, they claimed six months ago, the Internal Revenue Service, they were looking for 57000 $931.59, so $57,931, uh, asking me to please remit a check for, you know, $58,000. So at that point, as you may or may not remember, I went and met with uh, my friends at the Internal Revenue Service here in Austin, and guys, they're, they're, the, the IRS has always been very pleasant to deal with. Uh, and they were at this, at this point. So what I did uh, in October of 2012, I, you know, with my four-year-old, four-and-a-half-year-old taxes, I guess, I went in there and offered them 10 cents on the dollar uh, instead of 58,000. I said, why don't we just knock one of these zeros off the end and make it 5,800? And so I submitted that offer to them to see what they would say. And I should have said this first. So what happened to me, uh, oh, when was it? Right around 2000, I guess they told them <coughs> I got a letter from them informing me that I, 